Love it when our chef Adam Edwards joins us for Local Lifestyles. And here he is live from his very own kitchen. What you cooking for us today, Adam? Uh, well, you know, I've got something uh, that, that can be fitting here coming up into the fall with uh, uh, sporting events and everything going on. Maybe something a little bit more upscale than just some uh, chicken wings and dogs. <laughs> uh, I was going to make a charcuterie board. Oh, I love it. All right. You know, we, we're seeing this more and more as an option in restaurants as well. So let everybody know, you know, what that means and how they can, they can do it for themselves. So a charcuterie board is essentially a meat and cheese tray. Uh, this is like the uh, grown-up Lunchable. All right. <laughs> so um, what we've got, we've, we've just got an assortment of meats, uh, cheeses, uh, some dried uh, fruit, some nuts, uh, some veggies. So we kind of have just a mix of all kinds of stuff. So uh, real quick, I'll show you how we would throw one together, okay? Okay. Uh, so I just have a, a, a wood cutting board that, that just works as a cool platter. And I've got all these meats here. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of try to use up all this space that you've got. And... Uh, make some kind of a flowing display, if you will. Uh, I've got some prosciutto, salami, capicola. Um, you know, it's really easy now that they sell all these things kind of like as a kit. Right, so when you slice it, and everything. You don't really yeah. have to do a whole lot to get it. Um, so we'll start with that. Uh, we'll get some cheeses. Like right here, I've got some manchego. And then here we've got some uh, Parmesan or it's uh, Asiago. That looks great, Adam. I'm ready. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we've got cheese. And then you just kind of start filling stuff in. Try to work with the colors that you've got and uh, make something look pretty. So this is just some uh, roasted peppers. I've got some roasted artichoke hearts. So it's really anything you like. It's whatever yeah. you, that you like or your guest will like. But I love the color and I love the look. It's so inviting. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things you kind of uh, play with the things that, that you care for um, and, uh, and consider the color combinations of it all. Let's see, I've got some uh, whole grain mustard here. We'll just kind of slip in. I've got some nuts. Beautiful. I've got some uh, dates. And then here I've got some, uh, some cherry tomatoes. This is something that I, people are asking me to do a lot here lately. And you just do a, uh, a caprese skewer. Uh, so caprese is one of those classic, uh, salads where it's fresh mozzarella and tomato. That so, looks beautiful. I love that. That's so inviting, so appealing. So yeah, you get yourself a little skewer, do a couple of those and you've got yourself, uh, just a, a really awesome looking display that doesn't take a lot of time or a lot of effort. That's beautiful, Adam. That's just absolutely great. And as I said, very appealing. And, and I would guess it's pretty cost effective. If you were making a bunch of hors d'oeuvres, that would be pretty expensive. So this looks like a good way to go. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things and you could feed a ton of people off of this. Right. So just a uh, get a, a few things uh you know I, like i kept these nuts in the bowl just in case you've got a guest that uh has a nut allergy so you don't want to mix that all up in everything but there you go you kind of got this whole display we've got some uh fresh crostinis there so you can uh make your lunchable <laughs> i love it a lunchable for grown-ups adam as always thank you so much for being with us love what you do thank you well,